America, welcome to the most exciting talent competition in the armed services. I'm your host, Janine Samuels, and this is Operation Rising Star. Forty-two garrisons around the world, hundreds of contestants, and tonight only 12 are left standing. Meet your 12 semifinalists. on the next drill sergeant, I'm gonna put a little ooh wee wow man. Ooh, nice. Ooh, wee. Wow, I try to be modest, I really do, but when you cook this good, it's really difficult. Welcome back to the drill sergeant. A brand new set of taste buds. We are in a brand new place. Mmm, it's looking good. You wanna help me do a cupcake? We cannot do this without showing some love. Uh-oh, make sure you see us on the drill sergeant. Don't miss out, be on target. It's today's standout story that you'll be talking about tomorrow. I lost both legs above the knee. The most compelling reports. When you want, where you want. Go online and download the new On Target podcast, The Best Stories. This is going to be the best story. About real people. Just go to www.pentagonchannel.mil and be on target. Jargon. Confused unintelligible language, strange, outlandish, or barbarous language or dialect, obscure and often pretentious language marked by circumlocutions and long words like circumlocution. GI jargon military talk translated to English. Look for it in Around the Services. Uh, so what does GI mean? Staying fit is your duty and mine. And for the most part, we all have plenty of time in our day to go out and exercise. That's why when I see a sloppy fat body wearing my same uniform, and I take it personally, and you should too, get lean, get hard, and stay that way throughout the year. It's your duty, it's your duty to stay fit. Lives may depend on it.
Welcome back, everyone. You've met the contestants, but this would not be a competition without the opinions of some highly regarded and qualified professionals. Let's meet the judges. Producer for such hit shows as American Idol UK, American Idol Rewind, Clash of the Choirs, and America's Got Talent, Mr. Nigel Caro. Ladies and gentlemen, world-renowned singer, songwriter, and multi-Grammy award winner, Jackie Velasquez. And last but certainly not least, a great American, model soldier, and past military idol judge, the 12th Sergeant Major of the Army, Sergeant Major of the Army retired, Jack Tilly. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I have a couple of questions for you all before we get started that I think might actually help our 12 contestants. Now, Nigel, you've produced and cast so many network shows. What is your basic criteria when you're looking for talent? Um, I think essentially the one question you always ask is, would you actually use your own money to buy their album? I mean, it's like, it, I mean, when you think of taking money out of your own wallet, that's the simple question. It's like, is this person good enough? That makes sense. Now, Sergeant Major, you've worked with soldiers and performers as well. What do you look for? Uh, I look for somebody that would probably buy their music. Somebody, I, I just, uh, somebody has a great voice and, and very talented. Probably more than anything else, I look for somebody that uh, has that stage presence and somebody that I'm really motivated about. Okay, and I'm not sure if you all know, but I, you know, had to motivate soldiers for a while as well. I've spent a lot of time with our soldiers as a Washington Redskins cheerleader, captain, two-time swimsuit cover girl, and 2004 Pro Bowl dancer. I performed for thousands of people, traveled all over the world, and touched the lives of so many fans. Even though I cheered for the Redskins for eight years, my number one team is the military. I have been on six tours overseas to perform for, hug, and shake the hands of our troops and hopefully motivate them as well. <laughs> but when I hung up my pom-poms in 2007, I quickly became a dancer for Sweethearts for Soldiers, which are former NFL cheerleaders from around the country who have a strong passion for supporting our military. As part of this group, I'm touring in Iraq in January of 2009. So I hope to see some of you who are watching when I am there next year. Being here today as your host brings honor, joy, and excitement to my heart. But I guess I need to stop talking about myself and get back to who really matters, our judges. Now, Jackie, you've had a crazy year. You have a one-year-old son. You just released a CD. You're actually out promoting your CD right now, and you have another one on the way. You know, it's been awesome. I, I, I love making music, and I, I love being able to be a part of people's lives um, through music. And, um, and then being able to have my own family and make my own hours and take my kids, take my kid with me and my husband with me is awesome. So what else is there? Well, we appreciate you being with us here today. Thank you so much. Well, there we have all of our Operation Rising Star personalities. Or do we? I have one more character to introduce you to, but before I do, let's see a little bit about him. As CEO of Eyes Right Entertainment and Senior Vice President of To The Fallen Records, the world's only all-military record labor, Victor Hurtado has continued his lifelong quest of developing and producing talented troops and their families. His work as director of the United States Army Soldier Show and his continuing dedication to our services has garnered him recognition and awards 
from organizations including the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences, the Grammys. As military casting producer for such shows as Clash of the Choirs, Nashville Star, and other top television shows, Victor continues to effectively use his talents as an artist and producer to better the lives of our service members and their families. Let's go find our roving judge and my co-host, Mr. Victor Hurtado. Hello everyone, I'm so excited to be joining you here for Operation Rising Star here at the beautiful Wallace Theater on Fort Belvoir, Virginia, home of the United States Army Soldier Show. On behalf of myself, the judges, and the entire production staff, we'd like to thank you. Uh, we'd like to thank Major General John A. McDonald, Deputy Commander, Installation Management Command, and Commander of the Family, Morale, Welfare, and Recreation Command for including us in this amazing program. And would like to thank all of our troops and their families for the sacrifices they make every day to keep us safe. Now, I'm gonna be watching the competition and offering my opinions based on what is broadcast, a little different perspective rather than the live performance here. So your perspective at home is represented. When we return, we'll get to what you've all been waiting for, the great performances from our 12 finalists. We'll be right back. Whether you're at home or in the field, you can now cook it up with the grill sergeants or relive history with Battleground. I know what it's about and you don't. So listen and learn. It's easy. Just go to pentagonchannel.mil and click on the podcast link at the top of the page. Check out the grill sergeants and Battleground podcasts at pentagonchannel.mil. Do I need red skinned or brown for potato salad? Can I boil an egg in the microwave? Can I roast a whole turkey on a charcoal grill? Get answers to these questions plus a whole lot more in Kay's Kitchen at commissaries.com. Issue one, what are the issues federal employees care about the most? Harold. The real issues are getting kids prepared for school, finding jobs and helping to improve health care. Evelyn. I think it's the personal issues. Caring for animals, supporting the arts and the environment. Richard? I feel it's a matter of improving our communities and supporting youth development. Pamela? The big issue this year is taking care of military personnel and their families. The answer is, you're all correct. Federal employees want to make a difference, whether it's around the corner or around the globe. And the best way to do that is by supporting the CFC. Do it today. Bye-bye. The Pentagon Channel delivers the highest quality programming designed for your military lifestyle. Available 24 hours a day, everywhere in the world. Experience video on demand at pentagonchannel.mil. Download your favorite audio and video podcasts. Find us on dozens of cable and satellite systems nationwide. And as always, we're right there with you on hundreds of military installations worldwide. The Pentagon Channel and pentagonchannel.mil, serving those who serve. Welcome back. Let's get this competition underway by meeting our first contestant. My name is Staff Sergeant Darius Ramos. I'm stationed at United States Mission to NATO, Brussels, Belgium, and I'm representing USAG Brussels. The people that influence my singing style are vast and many. <laughs> Definitely want to say hi to my wife and my, my two children, Mariah and Julian, and to my expectant son, who will be here in December, Gabriel. Give me one reason to stay here And I'll turn right back around Give me one reason to stay here And I'll turn right back around Said I don't want to leave you lonely But you've got to make me change my mind This youthful heart can love you, yes, and give you what you need. I said this youthful heart can love you, yes, and give you what you need. But I'm too old to go chasing you around, wasting my precious energy. Baby, just give me one reason. 
Thank you so much. So, how do you think you did? Well, considering uh, the magnitude of this whole thing and um, get, everyone's got the jitters here, I think they did all right. All right, I think you did too, but let's see what our judges have to say. Nigel? Hi, hello, Darius, how are you? All right, sir. Um, when, were you nervous today? Uh, yes, I was. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting, you came out and um, I could feel, I mean, I felt your nerves when you, were, you started and I was a little like, oh, where's this gonna go? But I think it's like, like 10 seconds in, it's almost like you took a deep breath and it's like, you know, I have to do this, I have to do it, it's right now. And um, you have a very nice, soulful voice, very easy to listen to. I mean, it's like I fell into the lyric very nicely and it just, it just flowed and I was almost sad that you actually stopped because I was enjoying it. Um, I don't know whether you're different enough or have something unique enough that can transcend and actually be a solo artist, but I do think you have a nice voice. Thank you. All right, Sergeant Major, your thoughts? Uh, can I just agree with Nigel? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well? No, the, uh, I thought, you know, uh, you, you could tell real quickly that you was a little bit nervous when you started off, but I enjoyed your song. I thought you did a great job, and, and uh, you know, I think you're, uh, you're going to be a, a contender in there. There's no question about that. The, the only thing I the thing I probably wish you did a little bit differently, when you, when you moved a little bit, I, I know you have to move on stage, but I wish you just probably stayed a little more still a little bit, maybe just for me. But I, again, I think you had a great voice, and I think you did to do uh, very well in this competition. Thank you very much, Sergeant Major. All right, Jackie? Um, you have a very soothing tone to your voice, so I really loved that. And, um, and, and you didn't try to, to play with it too much, which, which is awesome. Um, I think that you could definitely, you know, work on the comfort level on stage. Your, um, it is, it's a, it's totally a nerve-wracking thing, but, but um, I think you could work on that, and I think that you could, I think we could see some great potential there. So, I don't know. We'll see. Thank you, Jackie. Oh, great job. Well, thank you, judges. Let's meet our next contestant. Captain April Michelle McDonald, 3rd Brigade Combat Team, 101st Airborne Division, Air Assault. Camp Striker, Iraq, which is in southwest Baghdad. I've always loved singing, I've always loved music, and I feel, I feel that when God blesses you, you should bless others with it. And because we were about to redeploy, it wouldn't have been a burden on my unit to leave them at a crucial time. And, and uh, it was just one of those situations where everything worked out and I was able to come and do this and it wasn't an opportunity I could pass up. County Road 233 Under my feet Nothing on this white rock but little old me I've got two miles till he makes bail And if I'm right We're headed straight for hell I'm going home Gonna load my shotgun We find the door and light a cigarette He wants a fight Well now he's got one And he ain't seen me crazy yet He slapped my face And he shook me like a rag doll Don't that sound like a real man I'm gonna show him what little girls are made But my gun's bigger He'll find out when I pull the trigger I'm going home, gonna load my shotgun We by the door and light a cigarette He wants to fight, well now he's got one And he ain't seen me crazy yet He's at my face and he should be like a rat dog Don't that sound like a real man? I'm on the show and what little girls are made
Now, a big, beautiful smile on your face. So I assume you think you did okay? I just wanted to do this song justice. It's such an amazing song to perform, and I'm having the time of my life. Great. Well, you did a good job. Let's see what our judges have to say. Let's see if they're smiling. Nigel? <laughs> Hi. Hello. How are you? Great song. Great song. Um, you came out sassy and confident, which I thought, okay, she's going to really just like take over the stage here. And um, especially when the song broke, I thought you'd really would let loose and really go for it. It's a rocky song. I expected a lot more like attitude from you after the break. And I think when the break came, it was almost like the lyric overtook you. You was like it was just lyric, 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 and. Um, it kind of wasn't punctuated for me, it, like there were no highs and lows. And you just like rushed to the end of the song. So I think you missed an opportunity there on the break. I, you could have attacked us with that and I think it would have been you know, a better performance. Thank you. Sergeant Major? Hua. <laughs> All right, uh, the, uh, I'm not sure what it was. There was something about the song that, uh, that really didn't catch my interest. Uh, the, uh, I think you got a great voice. Maybe it was a choice of song. Uh, I wish you'd probably picked a, just a little bit different song so I could appreciate your voice just a little bit more. But uh, I, I'm not, uh, I, ju I just think a different song would have helped you a great deal. All right, Jackie? I wasn't particularly excited about the song choice because it didn't do justice to your vocals. And uh, I wanted to hear you sing. And that's why we're here. So. Um, so, but uh, you have uh, you have spunk to you, so that's good, because you can't buy that, um, you can't teach that, um, and you've got a beautiful face. So I'd be excited to see you know you all done up and and kind of going a Gretchen Wilson with more of a a girly tint to it, you know. So have fun. Well, good job. It's over, right? <laughs> Let's meet our next contestant. My name is Indira Tirso. My husband's name is Valiant Tirso. He's a specialist and he's stationed in Tori Station in Okinawa, Japan. I am representing Okinawa. The greatest challenge um, would be facing deployment. This is the most interesting thing I've ever done with, when it comes to performing. I just I most of I mostly stay home and do karaoke, and when I go out and on the weekends, that's how I get to perform. This has been a crazy ride, and it's exciting. It's the first thing I've ever done. I, I'll remember it forever. Nice job. <laughs> Come on down. Now, we were talking yesterday, and you flew in all the way from Okinawa, Japan. So, has it been worth the trip so far? 
<laughs> well, let's go to our judges and see what they have to say about your performance. Nigel? Hi, hello. So, how do you think you did? Um, kind of shaky at the uh, middle there and yeah. sad to say. I mean, watching you, I actually felt nervous for you. I mean, it's like you didn't make me feel comfortable so much that I wasn't able to engage with the lyric. Um, I don't, who picked that song for you? Did you pick that song? Yes. You did? I'm just not sure that it, it showed you off to your best light. I mean, you did actually go flat. I'm sorry. Um, sorry. I just didn't enjoy it. I'm sorry. Sergeant Major? Well, uh, you know, I love Nigel over there, but I'm going to have to disagree with him a little bit. I thought it was a great song. Uh, I thought you did a good job, and, uh, and I enjoyed it. The, the one thing I'd tell you, and, I, and I, I've traveled to Okinawa a couple times, uh, remember you're always on stage, and so you have a great smile. Don't quit smiling, even when you have pauses in the song. Keep smiling and, and show that enthusiasm that you want to show to the crowd, how pumped up and motivated you are about just being on stage. But I thought you did a fine job. Thank you. Who are? Jackie. Hello. So you are seven months pregnant, is that right? Going on eight. <laughs> Going on eight months pregnant. Congratulations. Oh. She looks great. So now I've said bye. Bye, bye, bye. Now, this now, beat up on a now you've woman. been mean to a pregnant I'm woman. Whoa. <laughs> Real cool. You know, Jackie's going to hurt you. Look, <laughs> pregnant, pregnant doesn't pregnant like you now. No, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no um, well, congratulations Thank to you. you. Um, uh, traveling while pregnant is never fun. So I commend you, um, and um, you know I, I think that I think that you have a, a pretty voice. Um, did you mess up on the end? Yes, I did. Okay. See, whenever uh, the main thing about uh, when you mess up on stage, and and it's always it it shakes and rattles everything in your brain and in yourself. You can never let anybody know because they don't know unless they can see it on your face. So that comes with experience, probably. But um, you know, you, you've got a pretty voice, and 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 you know, you know, it's traveling right now and being pregnant. I understand going flat right now. I, I totally get that. But um, but whenever you mess up, you gotta keep going. We gotta believe in you. Make us believe you. Thank you. Well, good job. And thank you, judges. Well, we've seen the first three contestants. Let's check in with Victor backstage and see what his thoughts are. Well, thanks, Jeannie. I'm backstage here at my monitor, which allows me to watch what you're seeing at home online or, or, uh, or on your phone even. But we can't do this without our great sponsors, such as AFI. So thank you so much for your support. Now, uh, on Staff Sergeant Ramos, you know, I really am going to agree with Nigel a little bit. He's got a naturally nice voice. You know, when he came in, he's got a nice, nice high voice, but you know, nice is not enough. You really have to have that extra, extra oomph. Uh, th there's a difference between being a nice singer and an entertainer. And then the Sergeant Major talked about his movement. Yes, it's got to make sense. The song and the movement have to make sense. That's what makes a great performer. Uh, now with Captain McDonald, man, you know, the song was strong. I'm not sure if your voice is strong because the voice was, because the song was so strong or because, because you're strong, but you know, you've, you've got some potential. You just have to really be careful of where you place what you do. Nice instrument, you just have to learn how to play it just a little bit better. And Tierso, you know, Bless your heart, Indira, you know, being pregnant and how you get that air around where you've got to get it into the right place, you know, bless your heart. So um, uh, really, I think that the uh, first three performers, the word is potential. Do we have superstar status? We don't know, but we don't know what we're going to see in these next nine. So you got to step it up. And uh, that's what I've got to say about that. That'll take us to a short break and we'll be right back. at one key with opener mic, dissolve and key. Included a town hall meeting with troops. From Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, play an important role. Here is Defense Secretary Robert Gates to reopen the tank. As Secretary of Defense, I've had the privilege of visiting hundreds of the nation's wounded warriors. Aside from winning the wars we are fighting, caring for these men and women is the highest priority of this department. I am pleased that we have made significant strides to improve their treatment and help them heal. But frankly, much work remains to be done. We need to make it easier for our troops and their families to benefit from all of the assistance now available to them. To this end, I have designated November as Warrior Care Month. 
and the department has launched a one-stop website at www.warriorcare.mil. I encourage all service members to check out this valuable resource. This month, let us rededicate ourselves to helping those who have sacrificed so much on our behalf. Thank you. There's a fast, easy way to get all the military news and information you depend on whenever you have the time. Pentagon Channel daily podcasts and vodcasts. Check pentagonchannel.mil to check it out. Every payday, Around the Services puts a little something extra in your check. Right here on the Pentagon Channel. Check pentagonchannel.mil for showtimes. Rising star. Let's keep it moving with the next contestant. My name is Staff Sergeant Derek Cole, and my unit is uh, 612 Air Base Squadron out of Honduras. Uh, the installation I'm representing is Soto Cano Air Base, Honduras. There's been several different people who have influenced my style. Um, some include uh, George Strait, Garth Brooks. Uh, lately, probably in the last two years, Jack Johnson has influenced me quite a bit. I got something to tell you It's been on the tip of my tongue And I can't believe what I'm about to say But I'll say it anyway Well, you're always on my mind Thinking about you all the time and I want to run my fingers through your hair While you run yours through mine and I want to lay you down I don't Let you go Well I got something to tell you It's been on the tip of my tongue Wow, what a beautiful song. I like thank to thank you. you for talking about me, but probably not, huh? <laughs> How do you think you did? Well, you know, I, uh, I worked and practiced on this music for a for a long time and I came out here to do my best and that's what I think I did. All right, well let's turn to our judges now. Nigel? Hi, hello. Well, very interesting. I mean, it's like you come out and it's without a track, with a guitar, and it's, it's you're very vulnerable up there because it's you, it's just that instrument and there's, there's not many places to hide any mistakes. And um, you didn't make any. I mean, I think you're, you're very engaging. I mean, I, the lyrically, it's like you took me on a journey with you. Um, you just have something about you that makes me want to listen to you. I just, um, out of the people we've seen so far, um, you're, you're, you, have, you have it, whatever it is. You're very engaging. It was a pleasure to listen. Thank you very much. Now, you know how hard this is for me to tell you, being an Air Force guy, and I'm Army guy. <laughs> but uh, uh, I thought you did a great job. And, and, I, and I, agree with, I agree with Nigel. Uh, you really sort of got my attention right off the bat. And you had just a, a nice sound to your voice. I thought you did a, really an exceptional job. Thank you very much, sir. Jackie? Good job. Um, your, uh, your songwriting, um, I love, I love singer-songwriters. They're the best. They're always my favorite to listen to. Um, I think that you're, uh, I think you can take it to another level, probably with your songwriting, melodically. Um, but vocally, I mean, you sounded great. You know, it, you're writing for your own vocals, so it just sounds cohesive, and it sounds beautiful. So 
yeah, you, you set, you're set apart just by the mere fact that you're standing up there by yourself with a guitar and you're the music and the voice. So that's awesome. Thank you very much. Wow, I see a big smile on your face now. <laughs> All right, well, we've seen the first four contestants already, which means we're a third of the way through. Let's meet our fifth contestant in today's competition. Well, I'm PFC Star XM, representing Camp Redcock, Korea. I'm HAC 304th Camp Stanley. The Army is my way out. Um, I, I joined the Army because I saw it as a way to better myself. Um, in my situation, if after I graduated high school, that's that was the best decision I think I made. Singing is definitely an escape. Music itself is an, an except. Listen to the song here in my heart, a melody I start but can't complete. Listen. Sound from deep within is only beginning to find release. Oh, the time has come for my dreams to be heard. They will not be pushed aside or worked into your own, all cause you won't. Listening. <laughs> How do you think you did? I think I did good. This whole experience is great for me. And I just wanted to take the time to thank the Army Entertainment crew because this is a beautiful set and they've been treating us with such grace. And I just want to thank all the contestants because I think we are all good and I just feel bad for the judges. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I bad for the judges too. And I'm sure they were listening, but let's hear what they have to say. Nigel? Hi. Well, I mean, obviously, a huge, huge song. And um, you started amazingly well. I mean, it's like you went in, I mean, you just took us to that. It's a very, it's a huge song, but it's an intimate song. And you took us there immediately. You know, the first half of the song, your phrasing was amazing. Um, the middle section, I mean, it's like the step ups to the big finish. I mean, it's like, I think, um, technically, you maybe had not, weren't quite ready for that section because, you know, it, you just lost some breath and some notes and couldn't push through. But overall, I mean, it's a huge song. And you did make it, it was your version of that song. And the, ultimately, I, I did enjoy it. Um, and I think in time, you would re really be able to kill it. I mean, unfortunately, you didn't kill it completely today. But I just think overall, it was a good job, a good job. Thank you. Wow. Are you, uh, I thought you were great. Uh, you just, there's something about you that just caught me right off guard, right off the bat. And, you know, I could just sort of feel your emotion in the song. So I tell you what, uh, being a soldier, I'm thumbs up for you. I think you did, I think you did a great job. Hua. Thank you, Hua. Jackie. Um, I, I want to commend you on being tasteful with your runs and your licks because uh, it's very easy to go crazy and, and, and then it, when that happens, I can't really hear your tone and hear your voice, so you did a great job at that. Um, I, I think that uh, you come off a little bit sheepish on stage, and you can even throw yourself into it even more. Um, 
you know, I'm talking when you feel it emotionally, vocally, throw your body into it. Let me see it as well, not just hear it. Um, but, uh, but you sounded great. You sounded Thank beautiful. You. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, judges. Thank you for your feedback. Let's see who we'll be listening to next. Hi, my name is Jill Charles. I'm representing Fort Hood, Texas, and my husband is Staff Sergeant Robert Charles. He's with the 20th Engineers at 36th Brigade. Gretchen Wilson actually came to my husband's unit right before he deployed, and it was awesome. I had a chance to not only uh, meet her, get her picture taken, and I exchanged my CD, and she gave me her CD, which was really awesome. Well, you got my respect, girlfriend. Thank you. <laughs> How do you think you did? Oh, I had a great time doing it, I can tell you that. It's been awesome being here. It really has been. Well, good. Let's see if you got the respect of the judges. Nigel? Hi, hello. Um, very interesting choice of song. I mean, it's a hard song to sell. I mean, in terms of the soulfulness and emotion that you need to pack every lyric, I mean, it, it needs to be joyful. It needs to just grab. And unfortunately, I. I wasn't grabbed. I mean, I think, I mean, you, you did a, a good job, but in terms of, I mean, it's like, this is in terms of the competition. Um, you sing well, but I just I mean, in terms of, like I said earlier, taking money out of my wallet and buying an album, I just, I'm sorry, no. Okay. Sergeant Major? Uh, I, I agree with Nigel. I, I thought you get a nice voice, but there's something about it that didn't grab me either. I mean, uh, uh, I think when you're, uh, you're singing, you should never put your, you didn't turn your back to the, the audience, but you always should make sure that you sort of keep eye contact with people. I'll also tell you, you can tell just by listening to singing, you got a lot of motivation, a lot of heart, and a lot of enthusiasm, and that comes across a great deal. But maybe it was a choice of song. Maybe you should have picked a different song. Um, hello. <laughs> well, um, you know, I, when, when you stepped out, I, I was like, wow, she's going to do respect, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. I was like, wow, that's impressive. Um, you know, it's tough because, you know, you, you executed the song just perfectly. I mean, you did a, a great job singing the song, but I felt like it was just that, just a song, and it was a performance, and you performed. But when I say perform, there's a difference between performance and what's that word when you mean it, genuine? What's, uh, when, when you're being genuine about it. And to me, it didn't It's selling, it basically it's selling the song. It's like we need to be grabbed and yeah, believe that, that she's saying that for the first time. Whereas yes, like, yes, and, and I didn't believe it. It was more like a performance. So I don't know, I don't know what to say to you know, encompass exactly what I'm saying, but that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> thank you. All right, well, thank you, judges. Let's take a moment now to check out how things are going from an audience perspective. Well, you know, I've been back here on PentagonChannel.mil and PentagonChannel.com 
watching the live web stream. And I'll tell you, it, uh, it makes a world of difference, you know, when you've got some headphones on and you're watching on the computer on a small screen. But I'll tell you, you guys have to sound great. They have to sound great and look great no matter what medium uh, we, we're, we're on. Now, uh, Sergeant Cole, you know, the first original piece of the night, a lot of guts to do something original with Jackie Velasquez out there as a judge, you know, one of the most amazing songwriters ever. But I, but I think you, you, you held your own and you got some great advice from her. You really make cool like that and, uh, and less is more really work for you. And that really actually takes a talent as well. Uh, Exum. Uh, you know, you've, you've, you've got to be careful. It, it's difficult. You know, the, it makes you appreciate the Beyonce's of the world and their range. You know, you start really low and you go really high. And you've got to get both right. So it's hard to pick a key because the low might be too low, the high might be too high. So you've got to work on either one and make sure that they match up. But you've got a really beautiful instrument. Now, Charles, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. You know, you don't have to ask for, for that for me. Uh, I think that was great. It, 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 that song can tend to get a little karaoke. It's done a lot. So you've got to be really careful that you make it your own and you really, really perform it the, you know, the way you would perform it. Okay, so we're going to take another short break and then we'll be right back with more of this competition on Operation Rising Star. <laughs> Time on the next grill, Sergeant. I'm gonna put a little ooh wee wow, man. Ooh, nice. Ooh wee wow. I try to be modest, I really do, but when you cook this good, it's really difficult. Welcome back to the grill, Sergeant. A brand new set of taste buds. We are in a brand new place. Mmm, it's looking good. You wanna help me do a cupcake? We cannot do this without showing some love. Uh oh, make sure you see us on the grill, Sergeant. Men and women who wear the uniform today are volunteers. An original series using historic films and presenting them as originally produced. They're committed citizens, not only to their military community, but to the civilian community as well. Every weekend, the Pentagon Channel takes a fascinating look back at the missions, the units, and the people that made history. When it comes to patriotism, everybody has a voice. Battleground, every weekend, only on the Pentagon Channel. Every one of us who serves in the armed forces is really a semi-professional athlete. Physical fitness is part of the job. That's why the PRT exists. The nation doesn't deserve brigades filled with wheezing slobs who are incapable of storming a hill or marching a mile. So when it comes to staying fit, it's your duty. Do your duty, and I'll do mine. Our fellow brothers in arms, they're relying on us. Welcome back to Operation Rising Star. We're halfway through the first day of competition, so let's find out who's kicking off the second half. My name's Amy Downing. Our family is at Fort Carson, Colorado. Uh, my husband is a major, and he's with 329 Field Artillery. He is currently deployed in Iraq and will be home in February. This song that I'm performing uh, is a song that actually my husband and I wrote. Uh, there's a lot of songs that um, support our troops and all of them are wonderful, but there was nothing really out there that uh, talked about how we felt being who we are. And uh, it's, um, it, was, it was time to have something out there. Four o'clock in the morning, his bag's already he walks into the kids' rooms, pats them on the back. He leans in close, says goodbye, a soul peck on the cheek. A tear of pride runs down my face, cause I know freedom don't come cheap 
Cause I'm a soldier's wife. It's what I'm proud to be. And when he's gone, the kids depend on me. And when he gets back, get back on track the way things used to be. Yeah, I'm a soldier's wife. It's what I'm proud to be. And I take a deep breath. It's what I'm proud to be, yes I am, yeah I'm a soldier's wife, it's what I'll always be. Nice job, singer, songwriter, and guitarist. Yes. So, how do you think you did? Well, I was nervous. Uh, not as nervous as I was on my interview. I noticed I didn't uh, say my husband's name. Sorry, babe. <laughs> His name is Will. <laughs> and he, he is deployed right now, so. Well, I know you can't wait for him to get back home. Oh, I cannot. It's, All right. Yes. Let's turn to our judges. Hi, hello. Hi. Well, I mean, I really appreciate the song, the lyric. I mean, it's like it really speaks to everyone, I'm sure. And, you're very passionate and very emotive, and I really felt your, you know, what it took you to write that and what it meant to you. I mean, in terms of for this competition and transcending that into an actual, into a musical career, I don't know if you have vocally enough strength, you know, to to hold, you know, to perform in a concert, to to hold a large auditorium of people. I mean, I don't know, you know, in terms of where you take yourself vocally because pushing in the lyric you did actually go a little flat um, so although I think you're a very talented songwriter I'm possibly not strong enough vocally okay thank you thank I was a soldier for a long time and I thought you did a great job I I, uh, I think Nigel's got some great points but I think uh, I think you just did a great job and you, and you got my attention all the way through your song so thank super you. job thank you very much you know, I think uh, out of everyone so far, you've, you've got the, the best look for the job. Thank you. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think vocally, I, I think that you've got some room to grow. Um, you know, it's, a, it's it just, it's, it's getting that, that comfort level and, and getting some power behind there because I, I agree with Nigel in that holding, you know, doing a, a 45 to a 75 minute set you're gonna run out of air, and 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 you may lose the, you know, lose people's attention. So you got to develop that style and that umph behind your vocal. But you got a great look, so it's you know, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you're Jesus. welcome. And and the look is just as important, right? <laughs> yes, it is. It is. <laughs> well, thank you, judges. Let's see who will be our next contestant. My name is Staff Sergeant Victor Trinidad. I'm from the fourth of the 160th SOAR. So Special Operations Aviation Regiment Airborne, uh, representing Fort Lewis, Washington. The commander that influenced me most, I would definitely have to say, uh, would be General Retired Laporte in 8th Army in Korea. Just the rapport he had with his soldiers. Uh, he made sure that, that his soldiers felt that, that they were part of, of, of a team in general. It wasn't like, I'm working for you, even though we knew, but it was more like we're working together for, for a main goal, you know. It's hard to hang on It's hard to be strong Was blind, could not see Nothing but walls in front of me Oh, but still we believed And the mind
job. It gave me chills. <laughs> How do you think you did? Ah, wow. It's been a long journey here, but uh, I think I did pretty good. And then more importantly, I hope my family, when they watch this, you know, they're like, wow, that's, that's daddy. You know? <laughs> Quick little shout out to the family. <laughs> Where you at? I love you, baby. Let's see what our judges have to say. Nigel? Victor, Victor, very interesting. Um, well, this is really interesting because you actually you have a very good voice. Um, I was very distracted throughout your performance by the hand gestures and the way you moved around the stage. But I'm telling you one thing, it's like you have something that's very interesting. I mean, your voice is strong and you have a presence up there. I mean, it's like I connect to you and I think that you have something that's easily fixable. I mean, the hand gestures, we can, you know, slap you down, stop. And, uh, but you have something that's very important, and you have a talent. You can sing. You really can sing. And I'd be very intrigued to see where you could go. I think you have a lot of potential. I think you really could be good. Now, Sergeant they're starting Major. to call me the good guy of, this, of the judges <laughs> down here. So, you know, I love everything. So the, uh, I, I agree with Nigel. I mean, uh, I, I think that uh, you've got a wonderful voice. And I think, but when you, you're not to say not do it, I mean, but your chest or your hand, gestures and stuff like that. I wish you wouldn't have did that either. I think that sort of took away from your performance. But again, I think you have a wonderful voice and certainly a lot of talent. Jackie? Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, I, I, think, I think you have a beautiful voice. It was hard for me. I think the song selection was not very good. Not, not because of what it says. I don't want anybody being mad at me. Uh-oh. But because of... Um, <laughs> because I couldn't really tell what you were doing vocally. It was confusing to me. It was kind of everywhere. And I wanted to hear you, because you do have a beautiful voice. So um, that was kind of my only critique, actually, just the song choice. So I, but you were great. You know, hand gestures, it's, it's hard. Dudes on stage, I mean, it's a hard thing when you don't have a guitar in your hands or you don't have a band with you. It's awkward standing up there with just a track and you're a dude. So I commend you. It's not fun, but you did a great job. Thank you. Wow. Overall, very good. Positive feedback. Well, thank you, judges. Next up is our ninth contestant. Let's see who it is. I'm Fatima McKelvin, and um, my dad is Michael McKelvin, who's the HHC First Sergeant at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. I'm representing Fort Campbell this week um, in the Operation Rising Star competition. I love being an Army brat because it's just the confidence and um, security there is behind it, you know. I always feel safe and I always feel like I'm a part of something bigger than myself. I know I'm not in the military, but my dad is and we have extended family. The, the entire military is, is a huge family and I have uncles and aunts who support them. I, my entire life has been about the military and I'm just really proud to be here. You can spend your whole life building something from nothing. One storm can come and blow it all away. Build it anyway.
Great job. How do you think you did? I was nervous, so nervous <laughs> backstage, and I made the mistake of sitting on the ground. So it looks like it's snowing back there, but I think I did my best. Yes. I hope that's good enough. Yes, well, let's see what the judges have to say. Nigel? Hi, hello. Um, well, starting off, I was a little nervous because you actually started, you were looking at the screen when you started, so it was kind of like you looked a little distracted, so we were a little distracted. <laughs> but once you realized, actually, you had started, you really did push through the song. And you're a beautiful woman. You Thank have you. a great presence up there. You. you look like you belong there, which hasn't been the case with some people tonight. Um, and I just, the phrasing was good, lyrically. You did tell a story. I went with you. But just, it, just your finishing, I mean, it's like the song wasn't over and your whole body relaxed and it's like you could see the relief. So you kind of did almost destroy the ending because it's like the song wasn't over, but you're, you were done. So I just will caution you. It's like it's, it ain't over, you know, until it is over. Okay. So, you know, but otherwise you did a good performance. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, Sergeant your, dad, Major? your dad ought to be very proud of you. He's so proud. Oh, He's yeah. really proud of me. Do you uh, sing for all of his functions down there at Fort Campbell? I actually go to school in Murfreesboro, so I was going back each week to see my parents. Um, yeah. My dad just got PCS'd in Hawaii, Hua. so he's gone for the next three years, but he got to see my final, and he's going to be watching this today. So. Yeah. Well. Isn't that great? Well, you know, I was a first sergeant for, I think, five and a half years, so i just tell you, I thought you did a great job, a wonderful job, and, and again, your father ought to be pretty proud of you. I agree with Nigel. You've got to remember that you're always, when you're on stage, it's always, uh, don't forget what you're doing. And don't let down like Nigel said, but I thought, again, you did a super job. I'll do better next time. <laughs> Jackie? Um, you know what? Uh, overall, I think that you're my favorite so far. Ooh, um, oh, really? Yeah, I, I, think, I think it's for, you know, for a lot of reasons. Um, you, you've, got, you've got a pretty face. You're a pretty girl. You've got a great figure. You're, um, you know, you've got a great voice. You've got a lot of air in your tone. Um, I love that. Um, I, I think that there's, there's, a, there's room to improve even more in your vocals. So, but I hear that there's potential. So you're there. Um, so you, you might, yeah, I, I think you're my favorite so far. Oh, that's, that so means a lot to me. Thank you're you very, very well, you're very welcome. I'm, it means a lot to me, too. <laughs> wow, you're a favorite. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well, thank you, judges. We only have three more contestants, so let's check in with Victor backstage and see what he's thinking. Wow, you know, technology is awesome. It, it's, it's even looked really, really great on my phone today. Uh, again, just like on the computer, it sounded great, it looked great. So. Uh, Thank you for this, you know, for, for, for technology. Now, uh, Downing, you know, I, I really do agree with all of the judges that you've got a great message, but you really have to work on the lyrics and the melody in order to capture us and make sure that you bring us in so that we hear what you're saying, uh, not just what you're singing. Trinidad, you know, I, I, again, I agree. You know, the movement has to match up. It's almost the opposite of Ramos, where uh, he was uh, singing a little bit faster and not moving enough. You were probably moving, actually, you were definitely moving just a little bit too much. And I, do, I, I also agree that I, I, I hear your voice. It's a great instrument. And I think, you know, if he had chosen something else or if, he could, he, if, if we could really see what he has, you definitely have something. Now, uh, McKelvin, you know, I, I think no matter what happens here, you've got to sing anyway. You know, I think you have an, an, an amazing instrument, and it's really nice that, that you have that blessing of your voice to kind of keep you company when your parent is, uh, is, is, is out in harm's way. So I, I really thank you. Um, before we cut to a break, I'd like to thank another one of our sponsors, Military.com, for helping us bring this competition to you. We'll be right back after this break for more Operation Rising Star. Jargon, confused, unintelligible language, strange, outlandish, or barbarous language or dialect, obscure and often pretentious language marked by circumlocutions and long words like circumlocution. GI Jargon Military Talk translated to English. Look for it in Around the Services. Uh, so what does GI mean? Don't miss out. 
be on target. It's today's standout story that you'll be talking about tomorrow. I lost both legs above the knee. The most compelling reports. When you want, where you want. Go online and download the new On Target podcast, the best stories. This is going to be the best story. About real people. Just go to www.pentagonchannel.mil and be on target. Whether you're at home or in the field, you can now cook it up with the Ooh, grill sergeants wee. or relive history with Battleground. I know what it's about and you don't. So listen and learn. It's easy. Just go to pentagonchannel.mil and click on the podcast link at the top of the page. Check out the grill sergeants and Battleground podcasts at pentagonchannel.mil. Wow, look at all this election stuff. I know it's here. Well, what are you looking for? Well, this time of year, I like to show my support. Oh, cool. So who are you supporting? Same people I support every year. The CFC. The CFC? Yep. And now that you're a government employee, too, it's time for you to make a difference. Welcome back to Operation Rising Star. The competition is tough after nine performers, but we still have three to go. Let's check out who's next. I'm Captain Lisa Kopchinski. I'm with the Indiana National Guard 76th Infantry Brigade Combat Team and was stationed at Joint Base Balad in Iraq. I had a unique opportunity uh, in uh, the fall of uh, 2006. Uh, had an opportunity to play with a local Indianapolis band that I played with after dark and uh, we got to be the opening entertainment for uh, Vice President Dick Cheney as he came to Camp Atterbury to uh, you know just uh, cheer on the troops and uh, just show his support to all the mobilizing soldiers at Camp Atterbury in Edinburgh, Indiana. I miss the arms that used to hold me from Iraq. Has it been fun so far? Oh, it's been great. I have just had a blast here. How do you think you did? I think I did all right. I, I feel comfortable. All right. Well, let's turn to our judges and see what they have to say. Nigel? You know, at last someone up there that looks like they're having a damn good time. I mean, you really did have Thank a good you. time up there, and that was infectious. It was fun to watch you perform. I mean, you came out, and I, I didn't know what to expect, but it's like, I got you, and you, you really sold the song. You, I don't know, just, I just had a good time. I don't understand, but you had a good time. Thank you. Yeah. The, uh, I'm always gonna agree with Nigel, okay. <laughs> Ma'am, can you say who? 
Who is sir? All right. No, don't What's say sir. Now. I'm sorry, mate. Sir, I, the, the, I, I agree with not Nigel. You can, there's no question oh. he had a good time, but uh, but there was something about it that just didn't, didn't grab me. Uh, you know, and I, I mean, I just wasn't. Uh, a couple of the other uh, singers. I, there's always something that sort of that pulls you in, and and you didn't pull me in as much as I wish you would have. And I don't know what it is. I I, I think you sounded okay, but you didn't you didn't catch my interest all the way through the song. Jackie? You know, you know, you did a great job. Um, stylistically, there wasn't a, I don't, I don't know that I see anything that maybe would set you completely apart to have your own, like, um, record, you know, where, you Could know. you see her on Broadway, though? I mean, you know, it's like that kind of character part. Yes, really actually, now that you say that, I could, a Broadway thing, like a, you know, I totally could. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, well, when you put it like that, you're great. <laughs> no, no, you did a wonderful job. Hey, Broadway is not bad, right? Not bad at all. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you, judges. Next, we have contestant number 11. Hi, my name is Joyce Dotson, and I'm married to Marquise Dotson, who's a sergeant in 240 Quartermaster Supply Company, and I'm representing USAG Schweinfurt this evening. I would say uh, Karen Clark Sheard has influenced my music style greatly. She's one of my favorite um, gospel artists. Wow. <laughs> I have so many supporters. I, I feel that uh, my job, the MTD at USAG Shrine for were great supporters. My husband is always my number one fan. He's always my biggest supporter. And my family has been such a great supporter of this as well, and my church. Great supporters. I have support all around me. <laughs> and I am telling you, I'm not going away. You're the best man I've ever known. There's no way I can ever go, darling. There's no way. No, no, no. I'm not living without you. I don't want to be free. Yeah. I'm a mountain, yeah, I'll scream and shout. You can say what you want. I'm not walking out. Hey, stop on the rivers, push, strike, and kill. Between us and all the viewers, I love you, girl. <laughs> great job. How did it feel? I feel great. I was nervous, but bless God, I made it through. <laughs> Definitely did. Let's see if the judges are going to give you some love. Nigel? Well, you did scare me. Starting that song, it's like, it's obviously a very well-known song, and I thought, uh-oh. But no uh-oh about it. You, you nailed that song. I mean, if, if I want to say anything about it, you could have just stood there and done it. You didn't need to, to move. You don't need to play with that song. You have the voice, just stand there and let us go, come to you. You didn't need to come to us at all. You, demand, you can stand there and demand we go to you and we will come because you're, I think, I think she's the one to beat. You have a favorite, I might have a favorite. Sergeant Major? Well, that's not fair. They're, no. <laughs> yeah. How come I should go first? No, never mind. The, uh, I, there's something about you that just motivated me. I mean, you got a great smile, all that motivation, enthusiasm. I, I absolutely loved you. I could, I'm sitting here thinking about it. I could listen to you for a couple hours. You got a great voice. I really, really enjoyed it. Thank you. Jackie? Well, I think you did a beautiful job. You have a phenomenal voice. You got strong pipes. Um, you know, I think you could you could lay back on your runs even a little bit, so I so that we can hear you. Um, simplify it a little bit because you're you're good enough that you don't have to do runs in order 
to, to make it happen for the song. So um, you did beautiful. Good job. Great job. We have another favorite in the house. <laughs> Thank you, judges, for your feedback as always. But now we are on to our final contestant of the semifinal round. My name is Cyril Powell. I'm a specialist out of Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and I'm with the 101st Chemical Company. Um, I was deployed once. I uh, did an overseas tour and kind of looking back forward to going again. <laughs> I was deployed overseas for about eight months uh, over in Kuwait. My most, um, most, the most uh, musical influences that I have is um, growing up in Detroit, there's a lot of Motown, uh, oldies, and a lot of classic rock. Nice job. It's over, right? <laughs> How do you think you did? Um, I think I did pretty good. Everybody did really good, so. All right, well, let's see what the judges have to say. We're going to start with you, Sergeant Major. Wait a minute. Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there sort of relaxing. The, uh, I, I thought you did a great job. One of the things that I've noticed in, uh, in a lot of the people that come out here, the ones that always make that eye contact, even if they're not singing at that point, they're looking at the audience, I think you ought to do a little bit more of that. Uh, but I thought you did a super job. Thank you. Um, yeah, the eye contact thing is a big I thing. I mean, it's like <laughs> without the connection, especially for the viewers at home, you can't really experience the lyric. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's hard to experience the emotion if you can't see you know, into the soul, the eyes to the soul, as they say. Um, but beyond that, I mean, I think vocally you have an incredible range. Um, I don't know whether that was the right song. It was, I'd like to have had a, a, a song with a quieter, with a less track, so I could have heard more of you. Um, I just, I just wouldn't know, I don't know where to place him in terms of the vocal style. Well, it's, um, it's, it's hard because he was singing a Steve Perry song. Steve Perry is one of those kind of, those vocalists that it's, it's, it's like, it's impossible to recreate Steve Perry. Um, and, and I think you tried to do that a little bit, but, uh, and you did it some successfully and some parts where I wasn't extremely excited about. Um, you just need a little bit of work. But, but I think that, I think it sounded beautiful. I like the song. And, and I romanticized that song over and over and over again in my mind. So I, I loved it. So I don't know, what do you think? I would have liked something a, a bit more lyrically sim simple, simplistic. So we could have stretched vocally a little more rather than jumping around a high low. I mean, it's, it was a little, too much going on there for me. I have, I have real no impression of whether you are actually a good singer or not a good singer because I just didn't, I wasn't keyed in enough that song. 
Right. Great. Great well, job, though. I'm going to put in my two cents as far as eye contact. He's got great eyes. I don't know if you can tell that or not. <laughs> but right now, let's go ahead and check in with Victor again to see what he has to say about the last three performers. Well, now I've been back here again watching on the monitor and what a difference from bottom to top of show. I've got to tell you, I do agree. Captain Kaczynski, you came out swinging. I had a good time the whole time. I just, I, I didn't know whether to listen to you or dance with you. I had a great time. And I think it was awesome that the uh, judges had that great discourse and came, brought it back around and found a genre for you. You know, the Broadway thing uh, is, is a really great thing. So I'm, so I'm really happy about that. And now uh, Dodson, I'm telling you that transition that transition from free all the way up, man, that was brilliant. So I really do, I really do think that you're one of the favorites and I do agree with the judges. Powell, you know, a great, great song. Again, it's, you know, it's a very straight song. If you could put a little bit of your soul into it, I think it would help to make it your own. Uh, there's a lot of straight notes and stuff like that. So you've got to make it there. You've got to make it your own, you know, and there you have them, your final 12. We're going to take a short break. And when we return, we'll have an exciting performance from Nashville star, the Navy's very own Tommy Stanley. You don't want to miss it. As Secretary of Defense, I've had the privilege of visiting hundreds of the nation's wounded warriors. Aside from winning the wars we are fighting, caring for these men and women is the highest priority of this department. I am pleased that we have made significant strides to improve their treatment and help them heal. But frankly, much work remains to be done. We need to make it easier for our troops and their families to benefit from all of the assistance now available to them. To this end, I have designated November as Warrior Care Month, and the department has launched a one-stop website at www.warriorcare.mil. I encourage all service members to check out this valuable resource. This month, let us rededicate ourselves to helping those who have sacrificed so much on our behalf. Thank you. It's culinary boot camp time on the next Grill Sergeant. I'm gonna put a little ooh wee wow in my Ooh, nice. Ooh, wee. Wow. I try to be modest, I really do, but when you cook this good, it's really difficult. Welcome back to the Grill Sergeant. A brand new set of taste buds. We are in a brand new place. Mmm, it's looking good. You wanna help me do a cupcake? We cannot do this without showing some love. Uh oh, make sure you see us on the Grill Sergeant. Welcome back. As Victor said before the break, we have a special guest for you today. Earlier this year, Nashville Star went out on a search for America's best singers and conducted the very first ever all-military casting aboard the USS Iwo Jima. Let's check it out. I'd like to welcome all the sailors, soldiers, airmen, and marines. Then the auditions began. I hope you die. <laughs> the military had some of the finest talent in the country. It was the Navy's very own Tommy Stanley who brought the crowd to their feet. I've been pushing myself all my life you know, to do music, and I'm so excited to, to, to get the chance to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so excited to have on our stage from Nashville star Navy fireman Tommy Stanley. See my pain, oh baby, I'm running circles with you. I 
drove a thousand miles to leave you behind. Now I've lost and I don't know what to do. Oh, is it my life? Or am I caught up in this dream we were living in? It's just time taking my life away. Yeah. Hope you find someone else to ease the pain and lonely Oklahoma. When I come back home, find you alone, I'll be sure to take care of you. In this world that we know, my heart starts to show all the scars that I had to prove. Is it my life, or am I caught up in this dream we were? end our show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Navy Fireman Tommy Stanley, thank you so much. Thank you. So now we've seen all 12 of our Operation Rising Star finalists. The judges will deliberate after the show and you, the viewer, will find out tomorrow who has made it to the final six. Victor, any final words? Well, I just think we've had just a really, really great diverse group of people. I don't think we could have found a more diverse cast and a more diverse uh, types of music. So um, uh, tune in tomorrow to find out who's made it one step closer to their dream of becoming this year's rising star and the prize of the ultimate recording experience in Los Angeles, California. Judges, any final comments, Jackie? Uh, everyone was awesome. It's a, it was a very diverse cast for sure. Sergeant Major? The, uh, yeah, I, I thought it was awesome. It was really, uh, it, it, was, it, it gets better and better every year. So I certainly enjoyed it a, a, a great deal. So. Good job. And Nigel? Um, yeah, some nice surprises, some not so nice surprises, but yeah, definitely you have, I think you have a couple of very special people up there. Great. Thank you, of course, to all of our judges, to our roving judge and my favorite co-host, Victor, our contestants, and most of all, you for watching this broadcast. Be sure, Be sure to, to tune in tomorrow, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, time to see which six of our 12, our 12 contestants, contestants will be moving forward based on our judges' judges decisions. Remember, tomorrow it's your vote that helps to decide the winner. And by voting online at www.oprisingstar.com, you will be responsible for helping to determine who will be this year's Operation Rising Star. So thanks, thanks again, again from all of us here at the Wallace Theater at Fort Belvoir, and we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye.